Hey guys, Dark Cyclone FPV, and today I'm doing uh, another Caddx uh, UFL repair. And I had some people ask me if I could do another video on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick for you guys. So let me just show you what we're doing. Uh, let me split this up here. Uh, okay, so here's the bench. Here's what we've got. Everything's set up. Should be at least we're close to it. Um, all right. So first things first. Let's go ahead and just open it up and see what we're working with. Okay. So we're gonna take out these four. Hey Sam, do I have the UFLs? Okay. Do I need to come? I know you're on the phone. You need me to come get them? Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to take that off there. I'm going to go ahead and snap this back on, though. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the area that we're working with right here. And I can, I can zoom in, but I think what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and use the microscope. All right, so let me go ahead and put this under here and then I will get you the um, laptop display here. So there's that and that and that there. Let me see how I want to do this. Ah! Okay, all right. So let's check this out right here. So this is the area that we're working with right there, okay? And so our focus is gonna be uh, a few things actually. This is where it gets a little interesting. My, my microscope, my lens has been moved a little. So let's see if we can lock this in right here. Okay. What we're looking at is right here, but really what the focus is going to be, and let me grab an X Acto knife here. One of the things we're really going to be focused on is this area. See, so right here, they've put this black blob on here now, which I really can't stand it. Um, but uh, we need to get to here right there right oops right there see that little silver one it might be babe i don't know that's i i didn't mean to make you get up for nothing um i don't think i have any in my drawer i don't no, they're in a, they're in a bin. oh well i clearly because i cleaned up <laughs> oh sweet thanks man Thank you very much. Okay, so we got our new UFLs. Thank you to my wife. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna get a, um, a sharper blade here. Usually, you're gonna need a new blade to do this because you don't want to scrape too. You want this to go off pretty easily, or at least kind of take out a layer of that black. Uh, was that like the liquid tape, basically the silicone? And these suckers are sharp. So hold on a second. Let me just make sure that we're all set. And I believe we are. Okay. So what we want to do, the first thing we want to do is we want to focus right here, okay? And I'm just going to kind of try to chip away at it and cut at it. I'm going to turn it a little bit so that I can get a better angle for me. And I'm going to put my old man glasses on, so hang tight. Okay. Just gonna try to come under it here, just like that. Just kind of scrape away at it. Okay. Understand that really what I want to do, I want to get to let me see where am I at here? Here. Okay. I want to get to a point where I can start scraping at the board itself and exposing. The lead that runs to that area. So right now you can see we have this area right here exposed. OK, now we're going to need a little bit more than that. Okay, that's a pretty good amount right there. Now, what we want to do though, we want to make sure it's the right line, right? So here's what you want to do. First thing you want to do is get your multimeter, okay? 
and I'm just going to share with you now a side by side of the this and this there. Okay, so you're going to get your multimeter, put it on your continuity, and you want to basically go to the area here and then go here. Make sure that you don't have any tone here. Now, make sure your continuity is where it is, okay? Now, you should get tone right on that little small piece right there, but nothing else. These will give you tone. Uh, let me see if I can find that right. I hate playing this game sometimes with this thing. Let me let me see if I can turn it this way to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so we've got here. There's your tone for that, and you shouldn't have tone here. Okay, now if you put your if you put on this area that we exposed. You should have tone here, but you shouldn't have tone here. That's how you know you're on the right area. So this is the area right here. Okay. And now that we've got it exposed, what we want to do is we want to prep the, the surface up, right? So I'm going to get the, um, we're going to keep, you're going to need your multimeter back out at some point. But right now, let's just get back to being focused on uh, the repair. So let me do this. All right. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn it sideways again. What we want to do here is let's go ahead and take our flux pen and we're just going to clean the board up, okay? And you're going to really, really just paint this on there really good, okay? You have to be able to solder, and this is where it gets really interesting. You're going to need a very, very, I'm going to change uh, the solder, the um, uh, my solder tip to a very fine tip. Let me find one that I think is going to be good. It's kind of one like if you were to poke it into your skin, you'd bleed pretty quickly. That's how sharp you want it how fine you want it and I'll show you the one in a second except I got to clean it first because this is has not been cleaned yet so one second let me get that on there okay let me turn that on and I'll show you what I'm working with here okay now uh, now that it's clean obviously you let it dry and now you got to get your plan of action here so you have to find first of all the UFL is a pain in the butt to work with because no matter how hard you try to be uh, careful uh, you will it will throw you all over the place. So um, you've got to find a wire that's gonna be small enough for here, okay? This area right here, all right? Uh, and, oh, I don't know what happened. Sorry, I just realized that, that my work on Betaflight, I was doing something on Betaflight, there, there we go. So you wanna be very careful right here. And then one thing I do wanna also test now that I see it's exposed, let me just check the, um, the two lines next to each other. So here goes. I'm going to check this one. Okay, so yeah, you do not want these two to touch. You understand? So make sure, oops, make sure you do not get your solder mixed. Do not solder anything to the outside or the line closest to here. Only on this one right here. Okay? So I'm going to try to make sure I don't touch that other one. And how I'm going to do that, that's going to be kind of interesting. So let me just see. Um, what I may do for starters, let me take a very thin piece of tape and just put it down over that just so I don't jump those two together, knowing that I'm going to peel it off and then put silicone down when we're done. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this. And I'm trying to keep this on the microscope, guys, but if it moves, it's not the easiest thing here to do. So let me just see if I can just cover that, just like that. Just oh, if it wants to stay. I don't know if it'll stay, but let's see if we can get it to kind of agree to stay for just a minute. Okay. Now, um, next thing is going to be to find a wire that we can attach to that. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take a very thin gauged wire, and I'm going to. Cut it and strip one end of it. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Okay, so here's the wire that I'm going to use. I'll put it under the microscope here for you to see. That's the wire right there, and it's actually massive. And this is a very small wire, but it's massive right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin those strands up super tight, and then I'm going to solder it. Okay, I'm going to tin it, is what I mean to say. I'm going to tin it. Let me go ahead and do that real quickly, and then I'll show you guys where we're going from there. Okay, so let me just tin this, show you what it looks like. Okay, 
Then I said I was also going to show you the uh, soldering tip. So here's the tip that I'm using. It's a very pointy, it's very sharp. Uh, I don't think I can get this to focus on it, but let me see. Yeah, something like that. I can't stop moving. Here, let me see if I can put it. Anyways, it's a, it's a sharp one, okay? So anyways, there you go. Now let's get focused back on here. All right, now I have tinned that piece. Now I need to get the solder to hold to only this area here. So this is where I'm just going to put solder on the tip of the soldering iron. And I'm just going to gently, uh, while trying to keep this on view for you guys, you know, gently try to tin that up. Okay. And now when I lift that tape up, I can see if I got both sides or not. And I didn't. That, that's clean. It's on its own. It's exactly where I want to be. Right here. Okay. And these are not touching. And I don't know. I've got a little piece there, but that's not going to get in my way. So I will test that piece very quickly, though, just to make sure. Because my wire is going to be coming that direction. And I want to make sure that I don't. So let's see where we're at with this. There's that little piece right there. So we still don't have continuity, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we're good. So everything looks good here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this sideways because being that I'm right-handed, this is gonna be easier for me to do like this. And I'm gonna take this wire and I'm going to now, this is where I have it. So I'm gonna try to sit it on here. Okay, knowing that if it gets hot, it's going to move. So I've got to get the other side tinned up very quickly and then be able to uh, put that down on the UFL when it's mounted. So I'm going to now strip the other side, tin it up as well, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Give me one second here. I'm just going to put some flux on that. And then I'll tin that up and then you can see what this looks like when we're done. Perfect. Okay, so here's the wire that we got. And it's very big in comparison to what we're working with. But I'm going to basically wrap it around and make it to where it's not an issue. And I don't know why this box. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now let's bring in the UFL. Okay, which is, this is going to be the bigger of the paint that we have to work with. These are tiny, and I'll tell you that it's very rare that on the first run I get it because usually my biggest problem is they will stick to the soldering iron and there are ways to do it that are more effective but to be honest with you um, it's not that big of a deal these things that cut towels no. all right so here's a ufl okay right there so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this off i'm going to dump the ufl on the table here and i know that lighting is going to make it really bright i'm sorry but there's not much i can do about that but i'm going to flip it over Okay, and what we're going to look at here is, I wish this lighting would stop. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn mine off, if that helps. Dim the lighting on this down, maybe. Oh. Does that help at all? There you go. That's what it looks like. I just got to block all the light out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that for very long. Um, that's what I want you guys to be able to see. Let me see if I can put something here to block out that lighting. Hold on. I'm like literally trying to come up with any kind of rigged setup here to, so you guys can see this thing. Hold on.
How about that? All right. Until this thing falls, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh, but this is, I've got this like totally rigged up with DJI bag and some other stuff. So if it falls, it falls. Uh, so be prepared. But anyways, while you can see this at least, what we're trying to do here is we've got to, we've got to prep this up now, right? It's extremely tiny. Uh, it's a big pain in the butt. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to hold it in place while I apply my flux pen to it, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, next thing we want to do is we're going to very carefully try to tin this. Now, here's where things usually will go wrong is if it grabs it and kind of pulls it away from me. So I'm going to try to find something that's not too sharp to poke through but that can at least hold it in place. Usually, sometimes I'll have a needle. I don't have a needle on me right now, so I'm just going to try to just tin the edges very quickly, just like that, knowing that this thing will melt. I mean, it melts so quick that the, the UFL plastic, that if you don't hurry up, you'll just melt the whole thing together. All right, so that's one side. Let's do the other side real quick. And you got you to gotta make sure you don't use a lot because it doesn't work if you put too much on. There you go. All right. Now that that's tinned, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in the, uh, we'll bring in our Dumaflachi here, and I'll keep it dark so that you guys can see a little bit better. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get ready to put the UFL on the Vista. Okay, and I'm going to find my tweezers that are made for that. And these are tweezers, there are ceramic tweezers that we sell, but they basically hold the Vista, I mean, they clamp. I don't have to hold them closed, it clamps on its own. Oh, crap, and this is what we have to get ready for, is this thing is sometimes gonna fly right out, and then it's gone bye-bye. So let's give it a shot here. I, I lose these more during installs, so um, I get used to it. I'm going to try to put this in place here and sit it just right. And then I'll use my X-Acto knife. Where the heck is it? Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. Just like that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this sucker doesn't move while I'm trying to solder it. So again, I'm going to try to find something a little sharper, finer pointed. I guess I'll end up using my X-Acto knife for now. I don't really like using this here because if the plastic gets hot, this will poke right through. But let me just see if I can just get it to hold for a second. Great, now i got to work on putting it back here, so hold on. There we go, because this thing's going to move 100 times, so. <sighs> if I could hold that there steady, I'm just going to come in sideways and try to get that heat up this edge, see if I can get it to bind. Okay, it's kind of on. I need to get the other side now. So again, I'm going to hold it in place. Get some solder on here. And try to get this side on. And again, I got to get something to hold it in place because it heats up so quickly that it'll melt the other side very quickly. Okay, and I'm going to come back over now. I'm going to touch the side one more time. Okay, now one of the things you want to avoid, and this is going to be this is going to be interesting to see. 
you want to avoid getting any solder here on the top because you won't get it to fit. You won't get the antenna to fit back down. So now I've got to try to scrape this. So bear with me a second. That hurt. Hold on. What I'm doing is I'm scraping the tip of my soldering iron to clean it so that when I go and try to take that solder off right there, uh, that it comes off and I don't add more on it. So right here, this area right here, this little piece I need to try to get off. That should give me clearance for the antenna. That should be enough. And I've got an antenna here that we're going to test in just a second. So I've got this one right here. That should get me on, and it does. So we're good. Yep. No, no, wait, hold on. Now I've got to be careful because I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to pull the UFO off. I tested it without. So here, there we go. Let me go ahead and secure this back down real quick. very hard to do when you're trying to show it on the uh, magnifying as well on the microscope I need to just get this one situated again so we know it snaps on so that's not an issue now now we just got to make sure that we get this go Put it hold nicely perfect now we can come in and just kind of trim if we want a little bit of the harder edges okay and we've got our UFL ready to go this is gonna be good now it's time to work on this edge here Okay, so what we want to do here is we've got to get, our focus now is to get from here, let me add some lighting now. Okay, we've got to get this piece here to attach to right there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wire, and let me find where I put that, because it has since moved. See where it may have gone to. Oh, nope. I don't know where it went, so I'll just make another one. But now, looking at the way this is done, I'm actually going to make this a little different. Now I'm just going to make it an open wire. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to strip a long portion of this wire, wind it up very tight tin the whole thing and I'll show you exactly what it's going to look like. Okay. There it is. with okay and all we want to do I'm trying to set this an angle I can work with all we want to do is link those two areas right there together that's it it's a very small small run 
problem is the heat causes it to uh, like separate very quickly. So it would be great if we can do it in one shot. We want to do it just like uh, like that, basically. But the other side, this side, the strands are still showing. We want to be able to, be able to come in just like this, lay it down, and then cut away the excess. Okay. So we're going to tin the UFL on the top area, kind of like. Ooh, that's going to be too much. Let me be very careful here. We're just trying to get this area right here. There. That's the end of it there. Okay, we got one end down. Now we want to get that other end down right here. Let's see if we can do a continuity test on this, see where we're at. Okay, so it's such a small area, but we're gonna test this real quickly. So I'm gonna touch the center pin, and I'm gonna touch it here. Perfect. And it doesn't go off here, and it doesn't go off. If I touch the center pin in the ground, we have no continuity. And if I touch the center pin here, we have no continuity. And if I touch the ground and touch the wire, we should not have any continuity. So let's see. Nope, we're good. Perfect. So this is, this is for all purposes, this is finished. Now what we have to do is we've got to come in and pull up this excess wire right here. Okay, and snip it. Get rid of it. Check what we've got left. Make sure that when it lays down, it doesn't touch the edge. Excellent. And there we have it. And I know it looks ugly from here, but we're going to cover this with silicone and make sure that it stays for good. So what we're going to do again is now that we've cut that, let's just make sure. Excellent. Excellent. Everything's ready. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to take our syringe. It has silicone in it. change the tip here though because it is dried okay and we're going to now put this down around the entire area All right, now, it looks kind of weird, but once this thing, once it starts settling, it will actually settle flat, and then we will cover it back up. So it's not like it's gonna stay this bumpy. It just takes a while for it to kind of settle down. And this way, everything will stay protected, and we'll make sure not to get it around any of those pieces. Okay, there we go. 
through the cover. There we go, perfect, just like that. Okay, let's just take my X-Acto knife and just go around the perimeter, make sure that nothing is gonna dry against the outer perimeter of this. Looks good, so we've got clear, we're clear to these edges and we're definitely clear inside. And what we're gonna do is by allowing the silicone to dry, it's gonna add some extra strength to it. So um, that's it. That's pretty much it at this point. What we're gonna do is wait for this to dry. And then let me, uh, once this is done, look how that damage wise. There we go. <clears throat> All right, um, and once it's done, we'll put a, uh, Put an antenna on it make sure everything fits it should i know uh, like i said i mean it's not always uh cosmetically at the beginning it can get a little rough but i don't care about that what i care is that it works and it's fixed that's exactly what we accomplished now i'm just trying to find my glasses here we go all right so uh what will end up happening next is as soon as that starts getting a little drier and i'll actually put this on before it's completely dry because i like it to kind of stick to it as well so that when it dries it really makes a good bond on there so you know it'll kind of go like that and then um, what you'll end up with is a really solid, nice uh, connection that will be a lot stronger than it was initially, all right? And then you can put all your pieces back on like normal. So that's a UFL repair, and that was done on the first run, so that's, today's a good day. Um, I usually try to tell people to uh, go with a permanent mount solution, but it's up to them. If they wanna uh, have antennas to go back on and off, can't guarantee you the UFL won't come off in the future, but at least you'll be more secure than, than you were when it was sold to you because this is going to be a lot stronger than normal. Okay. All right, guys. So that pretty much does it. That's the UFL repair. That's the process and how it goes. I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go enjoy time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later, guys. Talk to you soon. Uh, oh, wait. Can you please subscribe to my channel? Appreciate it. All right. See you guys. Peace.